Devontae Freeman looks to be making his return this week off of a knee injury that's knocked him out for several weeks here. What do you do with Devontae Freeman? You plug him. He's, it's not a PED suspension that he's coming off of. He's coming off this knee. I think there's two sides of this tale. Um, we'll start with one, the first side that you just asked. Uh, Freeman, maybe if I'm struggling by weeks or something along those lines, uh, or injury and bye week, maybe I plug him, but I'm really trying my best to not put him in the lineup here. 100% agree. And there's plenty of teams out there that are like, oh, my God, give me Freeman and put him in my line. You know, uh, if you can help it, if you found a way, let's say if I got James White in my RB2 spot, I'm playing James White over Freeman this week. I want to see what's Thursday up Thursday with Edelman back? Sure, plugging okay. him. Oh, yeah. that That's, I mean, you know, I, if you've been playing James White before last year, last week's 30 pointer, you needed him. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously scores 30 points and, you, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, see, I told you James White. But the first couple of weeks, it was only 14 and he just gets you by. What if he got like uh, Crowell or a, or Powell in, in there? I don't know who the Jets have this week offhand, but like Jets have, I, the Jets have, mm, was it Tennessee? No, it's the Denver. Denver goes to the Jets. So they got a solid defense. Um, Kareem Hunt just ran wild on him. He sucked. Yeah. He hopefully you hit the window and traded that guy because he's terrible. Right. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, benching, I'm benching Freeman if I can. Anywhere and everywhere that I can. I want to see that knee before I put him in. Now, if you got to put him in because it's an emergency situation, I understand. They are playing Pittsburgh, so it should be a pretty high, Pittsburgh. high scoring Yep. A fair. What if you got Tevin Coleman and Devontae well, Freeman? That's, that was the second part what of the equation. What do you do? I want to know what was going on with the other part of the second, That was the second part of the equation is what do you do with the Tevin Coleman? And I think Tevin Coleman's always been a guy that if you needed him, you could always plug him in even right. if Freeman was healthy. RB2 Maybe they kind of ease him back in here. And I guess if you have them both, who would you play this week? If I had to, I would play Tevin Coleman. Uh, but I, at this point, with Freeman coming back, and I don't know enough, I'd rather not. But in this type of shootout, you know the Falcons are going to be trying to chase points because their defense is no horrible. Defense. This is going to be Absolutely a 40-40 horrible. game. Um, it, 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 it sets up to be a 40-40 game for sure, just like the Raiders and the Browns broke out into the high 40s. Um, yeah, so I would I would play Coleman over Freeman. Rather not play either, but I would you, – you're going to want to try to get as many players in this game as you can anyway. But – you know, so yes, if Freeman comes back looking good, that's definitely going to hurt Coleman. But as Casey said, he's in his own asset, been RB two and flexible in the past. <laughs> it's a shootout game, so I would have no problem putting Coleman in. Well, I got an Aguilar I could put in. Well, over. you saw Week One with a healthy both that they were split in series. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, we were kind of joking off air that Devontae Freeman almost helps Tevin Coleman out, like. Because Tevin's been putting up basically the same exact numbers that he has been with Freeman in there. Well, in the week one, they played a charged up returning Super Bowl champ, Philadelphia Eagle, completely Freeman healthy de- defensive front. Freeman should have had plenty of points in the first quarter of that game, but it's hard to do anything against that Eagles front. And Falcons found out the hard way. All right. Fair enough. You got some more? Wizard? Wizard? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess we, maybe we don't need to bring up Joe Mixon here. Um, Why not? I'm not sure if he's coming back or not. Oh, well, let's play the what if game. Can't leave Joe Joe Mixon out of the game, Wizard. 